Hi, I'm Ryan Herbst, Chief Strategist with UnifiedCommunications.com, and I'm excited to take you through a short tour of our new Microsoft Teams Room Configurator. And today you're gonna to see some workflows, some designs that are based on what Microsoft is doing inside their environment. So these are the actual room designs that Microsoft uses internally. And through this tool, you have an ability to interact with them, to view them, to customize them, um, to purchase them. Uh, you also have an ability um, to manage standards and projects, and you'll get a sense of how all of that works. So let's dive in. Um, and the first thing we're gonna look at is sizing. And this is based on, again, Microsoft's internal sizing standards. Um, and so this is both the dimensions of the room and the capacity of the room. Um, so the room that we're looking to configure uh, is a medium. Next, we look at the archetype that best fits the experience goals for the room. And there's three options here, and this is not mutually exclusive. It's, it's likely that you, you may want some of your rooms, maybe a couple rooms per floor to be hybrid optimized, um, and that you know, other rooms are gonna be more traditional, um, and that you want some of these flex spaces. I'll explain a little bit about each of them. So hybrid optimized would be um, a room that you really wanna lean in and create the best possible experience, um, both for the folks in the room and remotely. And you're open to furniture changes or changing the orientation of the room, you know, whatever we need to do to make sure we create the best possible experience. Um, traditional would be, you know, we probably um, want to, to preserve kind of more of that, that traditional feel. We're gonna leave the, the existing furniture in the room. Uh, we wanna add some technology that's gonna allow folks to participate remotely. Um, but we want to preserve the kind of traditional across the table engagement in, in that in that room as well. Um, and then flex would be an environment that uh, we're really trying to, uh, to to foster ideation and creativity. You know, probably this is more lounge or couch furniture, that kind of thing. And um, we want something mobile like a Surface Hub on a mobile stand that will allow us to um, to be creative, to ideate both with folks in the room and remotely. Again, a mix of all of these is likely the right. The, the right thing to do. Um, in this instance, uh, the room that I'm looking to, to design is hybrid optimized. Now we get to look at display options. Um, and so if this is a hybrid optimized room. We really would benefit from an ultra wide screen 21 by nine display. Um, unlikely that I already have that in my room, but if I did, I could um, say that I don't need a display. Um, but two options here, I can pick a 105 inch 21 by nine um, LCD display. Um, or we could use a floor mounted ultra short throw projector. I'm gonna pick the LCD display. Next, I have the option to add a surface hub, which is a great addition to a hybrid optimized room. So this would be as an accessory to the Teams room using the coordinated meetings experience that, that Microsoft has enabled for Teams rooms. Um, that means that um, in addition to a, a high quality audio and video and, and screen sharing experience, um, I can use the surface hub uh, for interaction through a digital whiteboard that folks can, can participate, all of this, both in the room and remote participants. Um, three, 365 applications, uh, I can log into the Surface Hub and gain access to, to my file history in OneDrive. So changes the whole dynamic and again, super appropriate for a room that we're really trying to, to create as much hybrid engagement as possible. So I'm gonna pick the 50 inch Surface Hub. Um, and lastly, I can decide if I want a Teams panel. Um, and these panels are really exciting these days, not just for the traditional scheduling panel functionality. Yes, I can see what meetings in the room, I could book the room kind of ad hoc from outside, but I can do some pretty advanced things. Like I could set it up to require check-in. And if people don't check into this room, um, it, then it would release the reservation after 10 minutes, for example. Um, other things I could do is I could create a, a power app um, for giving feedback on the room, or um, it could be that you know, we, we, we say the room needs cleaning and I could pin that. I can take any Teams application um, and pin it to a, to a Teams panel. Um, and that's just some of it. There's a lot of, of, of great functionality um, with these panels. So yeah, I'm gonna add a Teams panel. Um, also, here's an opportunity to share with the Unified Communications team what I'm really looking to do with this room just to make sure this is the right design for me. And I'm really looking for um, uh, hybrid engagement. And um, so next I get my customized design. Um, again, this is based on, on Microsoft standards. You can see that um, some of the items like the base kit here, um, the Logitech Tap with the Lenovo ThinkSmart Core and the Panic S50. This again is based on Microsoft standards. Um, I have the opportunity to, uh, to add things like extended warranties or here's an option for a fixed table mount for, uh, for the Tap touch panel uh, if I want that. I can see the Surface Hub that I selected. I could add um, mobile stand or decide that we want that to be wall mounted. 
um, in this room. Um, I have options for warranty and battery. If I decided I actually wanted the 85, uh, I could switch or that I, I don't want a Surface Hub right now. Um, similarly, I have options for the scheduling panel that we selected. Um, looking at the displays, uh, I can expand that 105 inch display and see that I'm getting not just the display, but I'm getting the mounts and a pullout accessory and cables and um, the eated minder and everything that I will need. In fact, these kits are very comprehensive. You'll, you'll see that they include it down to surge protector and cables, everything that you need to deploy this room. Um, I could optionally add a content camera in addition to the Surface Hub or instead of, um, both would be ideal in a room that we have, uh, let's say a physical whiteboard and we want this digital canvas to, to interact um, in a hybrid optimized room. Uh, and lastly, you can see some of the cables and accessories that are included here. Uh, so I have the option now um, to either um, just add this to the cart and purchase it, um, or I can save this design. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Um, we're gonna call this hybrid optimized um, version three. And um, you're now seeing the management interface um, where I can see saved designs. You can see this hybrid optimized version three we just created. Uh, I could add some of those to the cart, um, but I also have the ability to create projects and locations and associate rooms with specific designs. And you can see that I've done that. I created a Seattle return to office project with two locations. Um, and um, specific rooms are attached to certain designs. So I could add a room um, and we could use the design that we just created, the hybrid, uh, medium hybrid version three. Um, you could also see that we could chat here with one of the unifiedcommunications.com design experts um, to help with questions. So hopefully you're getting a sense. Uh, I would encourage you to uh, leverage this tool, take a look at each of the workflows. And uh, yeah, we're really, we're really proud uh, of, of what we were able to put together and, and hope that you find great value with it.